you to again how confident you felt after your mark's responses uh, and remarks on expansion and if you are who do you feel like would be the first school to join if they do add it to the big 12 uh i feel uh how do i want to do it i don't want to do like a numerical confidence level i don't know if i want to do that like i'm 80 percent or uh I'm pretty dadgum confident. There's the East Texan in me. I'm pretty dadgum confident that uh, the Big 12 is going to be adding some more teams uh, with Brett Yormark, um, just based simply off the way he was talking and, and the fact that I, I think it's very clear they can't just probably stay pat entirely um, if there are some teams that are valuable enough, and especially with whatever his vision is, that you can add to the mix uh, that can improve uh, your, your lot, get you out west a little bit more, and, and look, they the one thing that we do know for sure is that he has been talking constantly to TV people. Uh, Mac Rhodes has been talking quite a bit, you can confirm, yep. to TV yep. people. No, yeah, no, yeah. People uh, across the league have been talking to TV people and getting every bit of information they can ahead of this renegotiate or this negotiation here in the next uh, two, three years about, okay, if we add these teams, what does that look like? If we take – I mean, they, they're looking at every possible scenario. So knowing all of that and knowing that the last thing that they're doing is just sitting on their hands and the last thing they will do with Brett Yormark is sit on their hands based on what we know of him, I feel very confident they're going to expand to some extent. To answer the other part of that question, uh, the ones that seem to be most consistently – mentioned uh, i mean arizona seems to get mentioned a lot like in, in no matter what grouping that you talk about whether it's colorado and it's arizona or it's arizona state and arizona or it's utah and arizona and it's like they're the one school that every time somebody puts out some new tweet or some new report or whatever arizona is usually always one of those pac-12 schools that's mentioned and i know others have made the argument that basketball doesn't really do much in, in the grand scheme of things that it's more about football and in football maybe they don't necessarily bring what you think they might bring but um i get that would be my guess i don't know though i don't know what these tv execs are saying but arizona seems like a really safe bet and then beyond that like utah and colorado i think would be would probably be my, my next up but and not much differentiation between those schools I, I, I really don't know. I, I don't want to say something just to answer your question. I, I, I do know this. Yeah, there's been a lot of people uh, within the Big 12, and not just Brett Yormark, but others as well who have the ability to make decisions and be a part of making the decisions that have spent a hell of a lot of time this week uh, getting and understanding media, TV rights, um, things that matter not just the obvious of ratings or eyeballs much deeper than that but yes uh consulting consultants of tv uh how things like that work and and you may think it's simple and that should be it but i'm talking digging deep and being kind of given some information so they can make some decisions as well if bob we bowles was still the commissioner i i don't know what i would feel like but i think with your mark and just hearing him yesterday and seeing what's going on with the pac-12 and reading between the tea leaves i think that they're definitely going to be adding something and uh i hope that whatever happens if if in fact the big 12 poaches from the pac-12 if that's how it goes um i don't wish for the you know the end of the pac-12 by any means uh i won't you know, want that uh, for those schools out there. And I know it's a really weird time for them. And it's still, until the Big 12 feels fully settled, it's going to feel weird for those schools too because you never know when the Big 10 calls Oklahoma State or, you know, just for throwing a you know scenario out there. So I think everybody's got a reason to be nervous, Pac-12 more so than probably anybody, although definitely feeling better than they felt probably a week ago, right? Um, but, yeah, I mean, those, those are the questions that, that we'll learn more about, certainly, over these coming weeks. But, uh, yeah, I don't think Brett Yormark's sitting on his hands, and if I had to just pick a team, I'd pick Arizona. I, yeah, Arizona, and I think that the next would possibly be Utah. Uh, and, yeah, there's who you might want, but who's also wanting – to be wanted, we we got to go. I uh, know, but that's if Oregon and Washington are staying together in a pact. If they yeah. if they if they say screw it, all bets are off. Then yeah, that changes my answer. Yeah, and who knows? Uh, maybe there's just a, as we said to start everything yesterday morning, kind of a calming of the next few weeks. Uh, nothing seems to be imminent, which means it probably is. Garrett, thank you, Garrett.